Oh, I wonder how much of the scare I just caught on camera. So my first idea was to buy a side lip kit. Ideally, I don't like making things this big. It's gonna be like almost seven feet in length, so it's kinda hard to manage when you're making something like this. So I looked online and I thought maybe I could buy one, but the problem is they are expensive. Granted, this one's from Subi Speed, so it's 500 bucks. And look, it uh, says STI on it. How cool. The next one I found, quite similar, but it's flat. It's not actually rounded. It just kind of jolts out of the car flat. I don't really want that, but even if I did, this one is $199. So not too into that one. But check this one out. This one's from Walmart. It's $131. That's not bad. If you don't want to make one, that's not completely bad. But what I don't get, this one looks almost identical to the STI one that's 500 bucks but hey it says STI right here almost identical pretty much identical actually so here's my options either pay hundred and thirty two dollars for a lip kit that I might not even like when I get it on my car or spend a little less and put in a little more work and make my own obviously by the title I chose to make my own so the first step we need to do is to get the materials let's go Oh my gosh, it is not a fun time in New Jersey. 19 degrees, what the f This is ABS plastic. Oh, I was not expecting it to be this flimsy. And unfortunately, I had to buy a whole sheet. So I cut in strips so it'd be more manageable. This is what we're gonna be making the side lips out of. But I still have to get more material. I'm gonna need a way to bend this stuff while I heat it up. So I'm gonna have to go get some wood to make a rig. Holy crap, it's freezing out here. Same mic. I make modifications to my car. Oh. So I film me doing that kind of stuff. What's going on, guys? Say what's up to the YouTubers. YouTube in the house. Camden, New Jersey. I heard. There you go. Oh, oh, Try to stay away. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> got you, bro. Like I got you, bro. Remember, man. Lewis and Steve. Yeah, I hit you. Lewis and Steve. I'm, in, I'm into cars, too. I got an M3 what? supercharged. Damn. Yeah. Got a couple All right. of nice cars. Okay. You got the yeah. yellow Jeep you see outside. That's mine, too. Damn, okay. No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just a dancer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, have a nice day guys. I was thinking about buying a whole sheet of plywood and cutting it down But I can figure out a way to use these pieces of wood to do it. I think that's what I'm gonna do Damn, these things are fast. So let me elaborate a little bit on the rig that I'm building and why it's necessary The wood I just picked up from Home Depot is one by four inches I bought four pieces of it What I'm going to be doing with those pieces of wood is building something that looks like this I have my four pieces of wood, as you can see. The clamp is holding the sandwiched ABS piece of plastic. This wood is free. I'm gonna be holding that piece of wood with my hand. And basically, when you heat up the ABS plastic, I'm gonna take the piece of wood and bend it like so, till it gets to about a right angle. So we're back at the shop. I have my wood right here for if I was to build the rig but there's a change in plans. My brother suggested that I try to use this metal cage that he's got going right here. This piece of metal is not mounted anywhere so I can move it and clamp it to that piece of metal. All I gotta do is sandwich my plastic inside there and heat it up and bend it. Oh man. And this is where I wasted so much time, so much material and stressed way too much. So when I got to the shop, we decided to rig the plastic up and try to bend it with the heat gun. That was the plan. So the first thing I was trying was one heat gun. And the problem is if you use a heat gun, when you heat up the top portion, it'll be hot enough. But then when you heat up the bottom portion, the top portion will cool down. So I was trying to heat with one heat gun. It wasn't working. I tried to heat with two heat guns. 
it wasn't working. I called my brother over so we could heat different spots at the same time. It was not working. We flipped the box over so that maybe the gravity would help melt the plastic. That didn't work. We even added weight onto the plastic. We tried wood onto the plastic. We tried a piece of metal on the plastic just so that if we heated the plastic, maybe the gravity would bring it down, but it was not working. Every time I tried, the plastic would come out very, very wonky. Not ideal for what I want on my car. Times like this, you need to stop, you need to think about it, and maybe restructure your approach. So that's what I did. I took a day, I did some more research, and I think I found the perfect way to create these DIY side splitters for my Subaru Impreza. So it is a new, beautiful day here in New Jersey. It's a little chilly, but I wanna take my sweatshirt off. Anyway, I'm gonna to try to not bring the negative energy from earlier on in this episode into this segment right now. I haven't been drinking coffee for two weeks so far. I thought it would be harder to cut coffee out of my life, but it, it's actually kinda of easy. I don't know how I've been doing it. Ah. Anyway, as you just saw, bending a piece of ABS plastic that large in size just by a heating gun and by doing it by hand, not gonna work. Not ideal. You're gonna stress yourself out. Do not try it. So I did a little bit more digging and I found some type of machine I can build to help me with that process. Let's go check it out. So this is my own DIY acrylic bending station. It's basically a couple pieces of wood drilled together with an aluminum channel in the middle with a wire going right down that aluminum channel. When there's current pumped through the wire, it heats up red hot and will heat the whole piece of plastic. So this is how it's gonna work. I put my plastic over the aluminum channel to heat up the area. And as it heats up, I bring this up and bend it at whatever angle I deem suitable. It will most likely be a 90 degree bend for the side splitters, but you can do any angle. Currently, I do not have the power supply, but that's fine anyway. I'm not ready to actually bend the plastic and waste more plastic like we did the other day. So right now, I'm gonna take this foam board and we're gonna make a couple prototypes to see what design we should go with. Let's get started on that. So there are two designs that I wanna try out and I wanna build with this foam board before I actually start to bend the plastic. The first design is a traditional side splitter design. If you see down here, it would basically have a flat piece under my car that sticks out of the side of my car about an inch or so, and then it'll have this flap that bends straight up. This design will require less plastic and will also allow me to focus my concentration on one tiny bend just that little bend area right here. I'm kind of leaning towards this design. Now this design is almost the same thing, except it will require a little bit more plastic and it will also require a bigger bend, a longer bend. So basically what I would do is make this flap out of its own separate piece of plastic. So I would concentrate on this long piece. I would start with a long flat piece under the car, make an equal in length bend, the whole length of the car, make a bend, a flap down. So it shoots straight down, gives me about an inch or so down, adds a little bit more length to the ground. I think this one would look better in my opinion, but honestly, this one would be so much more easy to make. I'm gonna get started on this. We're gonna start with the first design. So uh, let's get that design going right now. So I cut out enough of this foam board to equal the length of my car. I'm gonna have to tape it and glue it together and stuff, but I wanna go outside and measure the little phalange that's gonna bend up. I wanna measure how tall I would like it to be and how long I would like it to be. So let's go do that right now. So here we are. This is where the side splitters are going to be. Is see how high I would like this phalange to come up. Honestly, I think two and three quarter inches would be perfect for the height, and I would like it to be about four inches long. Two and three quarter inches high, four inches long. Let's go check that out. Four inches long, so this would be the bottom of it. Man, that's short. Let's do five inches. Executive decision, making it five inches long. We wanted it two and three quarter inches high. That would be right there, okay? So now, let's make another straight line. We want five inches here. Let's do, damn, that's short. 
I want the top of it to be four inches. So making another executive decision. Top of it, four inches. We'll extend the bottom out to about seven inches. That might be too long, but fuck it. Let's try it. Seven inches. Okay. Well, this will be the angle. So we got four inches here, seven inches here, two and three quarter inches here. So that will be the side that's coming off the car. So that's what it would actually look like right there. I'm thinking we're gonna run with that. Let's start taping and gluing the pieces of foam board and let's make this first prototype. This is going to be the length of the splitter. I'm gonna put the little phalange on right at the end, and then we'll go test fit it to the car and see what it actually looks like. I put a little bit of double stick tape, not permanent, obviously it's foam board, but I do wanna see how it will look on the car. So I'm gonna put it on, hopefully it'll stick if it's not too dirty under there. I'm gonna get a little side-by-side -side footage and we'll continue. Oh my God, peeling the other side of double stick tape always gives me a hard time. The, when I make the real thing, the flap might be out a little further towards the outside of the car. But what if I bend it a little bit? I mean, does that defeat the purpose of it being a side splitter? It might not make it, I don't know. Or does it look bad if it touches? I don't really like it touching, to be honest. I think I might angle it out a little. We'll see, let me get a little footage of it. So I got version one right here. I'm gonna add on to it the little tiny lip that I showed you earlier in the video. And then we'll go get some footage of that. And then we will compare them side to side to see which one we should move into production. No, washed. no it's not washed. Do me a favor, hold this end right here. Walk over there a little bit. Walk down a little bit more. Put it right here, right about here. Can you help me put it down under the car? Right there. We'll pull it out just a little and stick it. Help me stick it out. Push it up to the car like this. Perfect. You're doing a great job, sweetheart. Such a good job. It sticks. It sticks. <laughs> Look at you, you little princess. Say hi. Hi. I love you. I love you. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you very much. That was me. Huh? What? Did you just fall? That's not a bee, buddy. <laughs> no, it wasn't a bee. Those it was Papa. Duck. I think somebody stepped Someone on a duck. Someone stepped on a duck? What? Did Papa step on a duck? No. I put you in a swing, huh? <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so both Mark 1 and Mark 2 are viable options for my Subaru Impreza, but I need your help. If you didn't already take the poll that I put up when you were looking at them on top of each other, go back and take the poll. Which one should I actually put into production? Mark one or Mark two? The winning choice of the poll will be the decision that I make. So go do that right now, choose one of the options, and next week's video will be me putting that one into production and putting it on my car. I cannot wait. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give me a comment, let me know what you think about the video. I will keep these videos coming every week, I guarantee it. So until next week, watch all the other videos I've made, get caught up, and then I'll see you next Wednesday. Peace.